students today in this session we are going to discuss we are going to discuss about uh, first few biology topic that is uh, living world biological classification it's going back then plant kingdom and animal kingdom so in this we have to discuss some aspect of synopsis and also uh, regarding some questions so as you know living world it is uh, as we know that is the biology which is consists of vast living organisms or biodiversity in that biodiversity uh, we are classifying organisms into different uh, groups so that organisms first thing we have to know that is whether it is living or non living if it is living then only we are calling it as organism so one of the most important character of living organism that is they are responding to the external stimuli and even other uh, things like they they are capable to reproduce they are capable to uh, reproduce they are breathing uh, metabolic activities which are going on in that uh, everything we have to consider so as i said vast enormous amount of organisms which are there in this earth planet earth and in order to study them we have to classify them into different group so for that purpose we need some assistance so these assistances are nothing but taxonomical okay that is taxonomical aids so these taxonomical aids which are considered as it may be that is botanical garden museum herbarium monograph manual flora keys etc you may be knowing about museum where live no or um, specimens in the uh, dried condition or uh, it is preserved in liquid like um, so it is preserved in liquid and then that is uh, used for studies to identify the organism or different organisms or part of the organism uh, that is preserved either in the dried condition or under liquid so usually these are kept in labs so that is in the museum another one is that is herbarium if the plant parts if it is pressed dried and then it is preserved on sheet so that is considered as herbarium then another one is that is botanical garden so botanical garden is the region where different plants of different origin are uh, maintained so they are hello so alli enagutade bere bere kadeya jeevi sasyagalanna ondu kade ಬೆಳೆಸುವಂಥ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸೊ ಅದು ಬೊಟ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹತ್ತಿರ ಅಂದರೆ ಊಟಿ ಊಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಬೊಟ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಕಬ್ಬನ್ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ಲಾಲ್ ಬಾಗ್ ಅಂತ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸಹ ಬೊಟ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಎನದ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಝೂಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ಇದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಜನರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಝೂ ಸೊ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಒರಿಜಿನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ರ್ಯಾಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ Uh, in some are uh, kept in captiveness so that is a zoological park or zoo and it is also acting as one of the recreation center and also help in studying these uh, organisms so especially it is meant for animals then monograph of flora manual these are the books which are helping or which are with the information about the organisms animals plants etc and uh, with the uh, uh, by using that we can study uh, this biodiversity another one is key key which is consists of two sets of uh, uh, options 
okay two answers are there and along uh, uh, by identifying the feature we have to go in one route so that we will uh, reach the uh, correct uh, end so like that so in duplicate the answer will be and that answers are playing a role in identifying the organism so that is considered as key okay so with the help of these things we can assign the organism into different group and that is helping in identifying the organism so they are all taxonomical aid and which are playing a role in studying taxonomy so first aspect of living world where we are studying organisms and then we are placing these organisms under different taxa taxa means it is unit of classification so for the classification we need different units and these units of classification is nothing but taxa so in case of classification we are using these these are the different taxonomical categories so smallest category that is the species species and over that comes genus because this is the smallest related species so species means it is group of individuals which uh sharing common features so they are considered as species for example sapiens homo sapiens that is a uh, scientific name of uh, human beings so the sapiens that is the characteristic features which are present in humans manushya ant en helteve adu idu so next that is related species are kept under common genus say homo so related species are kept uh, under genus so it is little higher rank and related genus are kept under common family then related families are kept under order then related orders are kept under class and related classes are kept under phylum and then kingdom so topmost one that is a kingdom or with the highest ranking that is kingdom and the smallest taxa and living living organism that is species ivella just nimge represent maadlikke iruvanta category but species that is the one which is a, a, a part of living organism okay so there are different examples you have studied in first pc so maybe house fly musca domestica or man mango mangifera indica man that is homo sapiens and even wheat triticum istiva so if you consider this man that is animalia that is a kingdom so kingdom animalia and that there are different phylum one which is with the uh, backbone or notochord that is chordata then another one is that is mammalia those organisms which are with the memory glands so that is considered as mammalia that is class mammalia then order comes comes that is primates and then family hominidae then genus homo sapiens so like that different under different groups they are grouped together so highest rank will be kingdom and lowest that is the species okay so this is regarding the systematic position so hege now classify maadi aa ondu jeeviyanna idbeku annudakke carolus linnaeus uh, introduced this system and it was these categories of taxa are also known as linnean hierarchy so always it is in the ascending order okay so next regarding here there are some examples so these are the uh, different uh, taxa and under this all are so these three first first two are uh, mammals 
see mammals and then the last one is snake that is under class reptilia so phylum that is common here they are all belonging to the common kingdom animalia then these two are humans that is and chimpanzee they are coming under primates and this is archaeodactyla that is blue whale then snake that is reptilia so like that the order or class phylum family everything will change and that has to be written in the sequential manner and that is considered as systematic position so study of organisms and identification classification and its naming so all these are part of taxonomy so 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 that is nothing but taxonomy okay this taxonomy was introduced by carolus linnaeus so carolus linnaeus introduced the uh, system of binomial nomenclature and also this classificatory system so that is also as i said it is linnean hierarchy so next we have to discuss about system of classification because ali taxonomy ali bantu identification classification and naming of an organism so one organism na name madbekidre now adra character na consider madkolbeku so it has to be kept under different categories so adukoskara now when one for example there is a frog in front of you so what you will do you will observe all its features so adr the skin hegide adr the body he yav type ide slimy idya adella nodkondu nantra adr jaga elli irthade adu adanella nodkondu neevu aa adra character mele you are classifying the organism so uh, for that purpose so taxonomy alli enide identification ide amele classification ide amele nomenclature so in order to give name there are uh, different uh, uh, icbn and iczn that is international code for botanical nomenclature and also international code for zoological nomenclature these are giving name so based on its character and also other features the particular organisms are named okay so that is icbn and iczn so these are uh, helpful in uh, naming the organism and there are different systems so different systems of classification that is biological classification earlier classificatory system because uh, carolus linnaeus or aristotle system so they were all considering only few ca- characteristics so that is considered as artificial classification and it is based on one or many character that can be observed so yen kanni kaanustha ide so adanna matra consider maadi maaduvanta classification that is artificial system of classification example for this linnaeus system of classification and even aristotle's classification they are all example for artificial system aristotle system there he classified organisms into he classified organisms into uh, two major group with the blood and without blood without with the red blood without red blood anaima and anaima then whether they are laying egg laying or not laying so that is andayuja and jarayuja 
so like that he classified organism into four group any one plant animals and plants that is based on the size herbs shrubs tree like that that is a common classification they did so that is said to be artificial system of classification natural classification where some of the taxonomical characters like anatomical biochemical even cytological morphological physiological character so horaginda kandidu adr jothege internal features were considered and with that they classified so such a system example for this i class system of classification bentham and hooker's classification that is example for natural classification phylogenetic with all these character they also considered evolutionary relationship evolutionary relationship nimu gottirbodu manganinda manava darwin's theory so aste gottidre saaka adr jothege yav reetiyalli avgalu evolutionary uh, changes aitu how they are related that also considered so based on the phylogenetic relationship in addition to all other character they also considered genetic and phylogenetic relationship and that is considered as phylogenetic system of classification example for this that is angler and prantles prantles system of prantles system of classification so that is phylogenetic system of classification so most accepted one this is phylogenetic system of classification so it is all next regarding different uh, uh, kingdoms of classification under biological classification regarding plants so there are a uh, different uh, classificatory system one such ca- classificatory system is two kingdom system two kingdom system where all plants uh, sorry all organisms are classified into two major group one is plant a and the one is animals so all plants are kept under plant a kingdom plant a and kingdom animals are kept under kingdom animalia and this two kingdom system was proposed by carolus linnaeus another one is next three kingdom system of classification that was uh, proposed by ernst haeckel and according to him that is in addition to plant and animalia he separated fungi or kingdom mycota he introduced mycota or fungi and saprophytic or heterotrophic mode of nutrition organism eukaryotic organisms with heterotrophic mode of nutrition that is considered under or kept under fungi saprophytic mode of nutrition then four kingdom system of classification that was proposed by copeland copeland and uh, that is mycota protista he introduced this protista he separated unicellular eukaryotic organisms under kingdom protista so protista that is unicellular eukaryotic organisms are kept under protista and other three are common so that is four kingdom system five kingdom system was uh, proposed by whitaker r h whitaker and he separated unicellular prokaryotic organisms under kingdom monera so unicellular prokaryotic so this is with the major character prokaryotes okay all other group of organisms are eukaryotic eukaryotes but here monera all the prokaryotes what is this prokaryotes 
Prokaryotes means they does not have. So this is the eukaryotic cell which is with nucleus and nucleolus. So here there is no nucleus instead of double stranded circular DNA. Okay, they had double stranded circular DNA. Okay, double stranded circular DNA and then no only ribosomes were there and in some cases there will be photosynthetic lamellae like this. Okay, that is in blue green algae. But in eukaryotic cell there will be nucleus and even there are membrane bound cell organelles. And even it is with chloroplast. Chloroplast it even it is with uh, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies. So like this, there are many uh, cell organelles. So this is the characteristics of eukaryotic cell, and prokaryotes are without true nucleus so e tara structure illilla true nucleus is absent so they are said to be primitive carry on means nucleus so they do not have prominent nucleus such organisms are kept under kingdom monera so all other group of organisms they are with the normal that means eukaryotic cell so, in order to classify into different five groups, R.H. Whittaker used uh, one is uh, their cellular organization, whether they are unicellular or multicellular, then nature of the cell, whether they are eukaryotic or prokaryotic, then mode of nutrition, that is whether they are autotropic, autotropic means they are capable to produce their own food and or heterotropic. Under heterotrophs, whether they are saprophytes, parasites or holozoic, animal-like. So, such criteria were considered and even their method of reproduction. So, by considering these, he classified organisms into five kingdom. So, most accepted one that is five kingdom system. Still, this five kingdom system is with some limitation where they or R.H. Whittaker did not kept place for viruses. Viruses, prions, viroids and even lichens, they are not having any place. So, that is the demerit of the system and later they uh, in recently six kingdom system of classification also uh, published. Okay. So, this is regarding a different kingdoms of classification or system of classification where different kingdoms so original that is an initial that is planta and animalia in three kingdom system Ernst Haeckel introduced mycota in four kingdom system protista unicellular eukaryotic organisms are kept under protista and then under five kingdom system unicellular or prokaryotic organisms are separated into kingdom monera and then all other uh, kingdoms. So this is the outline classification where different kingdom. The kingdom monera that includes bacteria and cyanobacteria. And one more here comes that is archaebacteria. Archaea, archaea, archaea or archaea bacteria. So, they are kept under this uh, monera, bacteria, cyanobacteria that is blue green algae. So, bacteria, true, bac true bacteria 
and then archaebacteria so these are the one which are capable to survive in extreme condition so that is archaebacteria under protista as i said unicellular eukaryotic organism both plant like and animal like so that is animal uh, plant like that is unicellular algae and animal proto primitive zoa means animals so primitive animals unicellular animals that like paramecium euglena uh, such things okay so amoeba all these are kept under protozoa so all unicellular eukaryotic organism under kingdom protista then fungi that is different types of uh, fungi with saprophytic and parasitic mode of nutrition so they are separated and these are a chlorophyllous that means they do not have chlorophyll so they are mode of nutrition that is heterotrophs usually they are deriving food from uh, decaying matter so that is saprophytic so then another one is and here fungal body so fungal body which consists of mycelium and there are large number of filamentous structures we will discuss later so plantae plantae which is uh, consists of multicellular algae so unicellular algae here and multicellular algae comes under kingdom plantae then bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperm angiosperms etc under kingdom animalia all eukaryotic multicellular organisms they are grouped into different phylum so that is porifera cilentrata platyhelminthes askelminthes annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata and chordata so they are classified into different groups based on different criteria so all these comes in that okay. next regarding virus as i said viruses are not having any place in whitaker system of classification so what are these viruses viruses are infectious organism can i say no it is infectious entity structure and with the, uh, which are causing infection infectious agent causing infection in both uh, plants and animals even human beings and these are non cellular so they are not having cell like structure but they are consists of uh, biological molecule bio molecules are there such structure and outside the cell they are just like crystal okay they are with crystalline property and only when they are inside the cell or as parasite they are capable to show living property outside the cell they are non cellular entity but inside the cell they are uh, exhibiting uh, living property such structure that is viruses okay they are causing infection in both plants and animals and there are different types of uh, virus based on the nucleic acid actually they are having central cylinder of nucleus illi kanustade madhyadalli nucleus madhyadalli genetic material ide so there is no nucleus so here only genetic material core illi sa ide nodi elladralli so there is a central cylinder of genetic core or genetic material dna or rna not both so either dna or rna is present in the center and which is enveloped by covered by large number of protein okay protein is present at, uh, around it so okay so like this in the middle uh, you may be knowing about pataki ಪಟಾಕಿ ಪಟಾಕಿ ಒಳಗೆ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಒಂದು ಕಡ್ಡಿ ಇರ್ತದಲ್ಲ 
ಸೊ ಏನು ನೀವು ಫೈರ್ ಹಚ್ಚುತ್ತೀರಿ ಆ ಥರದ್ದು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಕೋಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸಿಲ್ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸೋಮಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸೋಮಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಕೋರ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಸಿಲಿಂಡರ್ ಆರ್ ಕೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಐದರ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸೊ ನಂಬರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಸೊ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ವೈರಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಐದರ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ವೈರಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ವೈರಸಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ವೈರಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ವೈರಸಸ್ ಸೇ ದಿಸ್ ಎಡಿನೋ ವೈರಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ವೈರಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೊಬ್ಯಾಕೊ ಮೊಜೈಕ್ ವೈರಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಕೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಟ್ಯಾಡ್ ಪೋಲ್ ಶೇಪ್ಡ್ ವೈರಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯೋ ಫೇಜ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯೋ ಫೇಜಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಸೊ ವೈರಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಆರ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯೋ ಫೇಜಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯೋ ಫೇಜಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಹೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಲ್ ಟೈಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ದರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೈಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕಾಡಲ್ ಫೈಬರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಮೊಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಕೋರ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯೋ ಫೇಜ್ ಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಎ ಸೆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಹೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಲ್ ಟೈಲ್ ಶೀಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಸಿರಿನ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಸೆಲ್ ಸೊ ದ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಗೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಹೋಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಈವನ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ವೈರಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಬಯೋಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಲೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೋವಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಸೆಲ್ ಈ ಸೆಲ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಹೇವ್ ಅಬ್ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಹೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಮೆಷಿನರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೇನು ಬೇಕು ಅಂಥದ್ದನ್ನು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅವುಗಳ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೈಕಲನ್ನು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒಬ್ಲಿಗೇಟ್ರಿ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸಿಟಿಕ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ವೈರಸ್ ಸೊ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಏನಾಯಿತು ವೈರಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್
सो मैड कौ डिसीज अंत करतर सो दट इस कॉस्ड बै दिस प्रयान और इवन खुरू अंत करते सो दट इस कॉस्ड बै प्रयान एंड वैराइड दट इस पोटैटो स्पिडल ट्यूबर वैराइड डिसीज सो सो द वैराइड दट इस पी एस टी वि एंड द डिस दट इस पोटैटो स्पिडल ट्यूबर वैराइड डिसीज दट इस कॉस्ड बै वैराइड सो लाइक दैट दीज हर द अदर ग्रूप विच आर् नाट किप्ट अंडर नम मोनेर यार विटेक सिसम आफ क्लासिफिकेशन एंड वन इज लाइकन यू मे बी नोयिंग अबउट लाइकन सो वाट आर् दिस लाइकन लाइकन मीन इट इस सिंबयाटिक असोसियेशन आफ आल एंड फंग म्यूचुअल असोसियेशन आफ आल एंड फंग सो दट इस सैट टू बी लाइकन दीज लाइक दे आर् वि बेनिफिशियल activity and they are of different uh, form and these lichens were not kept under vitaca uh, 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 system of classification next we have to discuss about bacteria <coughs> kingdom monera kingdom monera which is with bacteria these are unicellular prokaryotic organism and based on and the, as i said they do not have proper nucleus only nucleoid is there so one cell it is covered by cell wall so they have plasma membrane then there is cell wall and around that there is slime layer slime layer or that is capsule so this is the cell membrane this is cell wall then it is with capsule aita right? capsulated capsule then it is consists of double stranded circular dna double stranded dna then it consists of ribosomes and all these ribosomes they are of 70s type okay so swedberg coefficient that is 70s type of ribosomes are there and then in case of blue green algae there may be photosynthetic lamellae so these bacterial cell and in addition it may be having pili stout structures and also it may be having flagella uddada so locomotory structure flagella and pili that is the uh, thick structure which are playing role in attachment so this bacterial cell it is without nucleus and even they are classified into different groups based on their shape so here if they are spherical then they are said to be cocci or coccus if they are one unit monococcus two diplococcus many chain forming chain these all individual cells okay they are forming chain streptococcus so tetracoccus sarsina staphylo like grape like cluster of grapes then if it is rod shaped it is said to be bacillus based on the number of unit they are classified further and then if it is spiral it is said to be spirillum and if it is comma shaped it is vibrio and even it is coiled
so sp uh, spiral i and even that is spirally coiled so that is spirochetes so all these are considered as spiral bacteria and then so major that is cocci round shaped then rod shaped then spiral and even comma shaped vibrio vibrio collarae collara causing so these are other different shapes so these are the uh, different types of bacteria based on their shape okay so under uh, kingdom monera one more group of organisms that is cyanobacteria so cyanobacteria see here you can notice this cyanobacteria or blue green algae so blue green algae like nostoc so colony so uh, different uh, or unicellular prokaryotic cells are united together and some cells so these are nothing but heterocyst 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 so this is meant for nitrogen fixation blue green algae they are also comes under kingdom monera where they are with the photosynthetic property okay photosynthesis autotrophic uh, monerans that is blue green algae so they are with pigments so vegetative cells are there and there are some cells which are stored with the food material lot of food material so these are also known as echinids so and there are some cells which are with heterocysts so they are meant for fixation of nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen is fixed into nitrite or nitrate so that is if there is deficiency of nitrogen content then they will go for fixation of atmospheric nitrogen with the help of this heterocyst okay so and it is with the nitrogenase enzyme with the help of that it will do and that is in the complete absence of oxygen oxygen idre ee kelsa agalla in the absence of oxygen it will do or it will fix atmospheric nitrogen so that is one such that is nostoc nostoc oscillatoria anabina so these are the some blue green, blue green algae and normally they are with pigment so phycocyanin bluish pigment that is phycocyanin is found in this uh, cyanobacteria okay so phycocyanin so they are said to be blue green algae so bluish green in appearance and these are normally filamentous algae and they are uh, form, found in the form of beaded appearance so that blue green algae uh, that is Uh, this so that is also kept under kingdom monera one more i explain little uh, earlier so that is regarding archaea archaea bacteria like thermoacidophiles methanogens thermoacidophiles which are found in the hot sulfur spring so highest temperature at high temperature and there are some halophiles extreme salt condition or there are methanogens which are found in the marshes 
so even in the gobar gas plant we will find this uh, methanogens so all these are three groups they are comes under archibacteria that is under kingdom monera okay next one is kingdom protista kingdom protista that is unicellular eukaryotic organisms both plant like and animal like under plant like that is algae they are photosynthetic autotrophs so they are grouped into different unicellular euglenophyta then chrysophyta that is diatom golden brown algae anta sa karitare pyrophyta that is dinoflagellates these are unicellular and multicellular chlorophyta phyophyta and rhodophyta so chlorophyta green algae then they are mainly they are consists of chlorophyll a and b phyophyta that is brown algae which is consists of phycoxanthin so predominant pigment phycoxanthin and in case of rhodophyte c it is with the phycoerythrin okay rhodophyta which is with phycoerythrin phyophyta with phycoxanthin chlorophyta with chlorophyll a and b so these based on the color and euglenophyta that is euglena which are with mixotropic habit mixotropic day time they are autotrophic with the they are capable to produce a uh, food but during night they are incapable of uh, preparation of food instead they are uh, going for animal like uh, mode of nutrition that is holozoic so that is said to be mixotropic mode of movement uh, habit nutrition that is euglenophyta chrysophyta golden algae so here the diatoms so here they are with the siliceous ornamentation so silica is deposited in the form of ornamentation here so that is a uh, diatoms so even they are shell which is with two cases tk so epitheca hypotheca like that so that is uh, considered as chrysophyta pyrophyta so these are uh, dinoflagellates and another one is animal like protista the under comes protozoa so protozoa they are with the heterotrophic mode of nutrition that is with animal like holozoic mode of nutrition okay holozoic under that sarcodaina or mastigophora that is amoeba or even it is named as amoeboid amoeboid protozoa okay amoeboid protozoa amoeba and amoeba ciliophora that is ciliated ciliated protozoa actually based on their locomotory structure they are classified animal like protist they are classified based on their uh, locomotory structure so these are with the pseudopodia so fleshy uh, root like a uh, foot so that is amoeba and ciliated protozoa that is paramecium then uh, flagellated idella bere hesri ide so flagellated protozoa trypanosoma one the flagella irutte so then another one is sporozoa these are plasmodium which are not having any flagell uh, locomotor structure because these are infectious or they are with parasitic mode of life uh, other three they are free living and this sporozoa are with parasitic mode so they are parasites 
Next, another one is that is uh, fungus like protista, that is uh, Myxomycota, that is actually lower fungi and the munchakaritidru, ega, that is kept under this, so that is uh, slime molds. Okay, slime molds. So they are uh, sharing both the property, so that is uh, slime molds, that is also kept under this particular kingdom protista. Next, regarding fungi. So fungi, fungi are classified actually their plant body is like this there are large number of filamentous structure so filamentous structure is nothing but mycelium okay then the fungal body is mycelium and these filamentous structure that is said to be hyphae so many hyphae are interwoven and they are forming a mycelium from the mycelium uh, fruiting body, reproductive structures which are coming out. So, these are nothing but fruiting body that is conidia like that. So, that uh, fruiting body or in case of uh, this that is basidiocarp. So, fruiting body they are the fertile structures which will arise. So, three uh, four major groups under kingdom mycota that is lower fungi. So, it is also known as zygomycota or phycomycetes. So, zygomycota, their major mode of uh, reproduction that is through conjugation canal. So, that is zygomycetes or under phycomycetes. So, that is rhizopus, mucor. You may be knowing about bread mold. Okay, bread mold. So, that is boost on the earth. So, that is uh, uh, such type of fungi. And then ascomycetes. In case of ascomycetes, the, uh, during uh, sexual reproduction, they will form sac-like structure and that sac which is consists of spores. So, that is said to be ascus. So, this is ascus, ascus which is carrying ascospores. Okay. So, here it is said to be zygospores. Spores are said to be zygospores which are produced through conjugation and here inside the sac ascus spores are produced ascospores. In case of basidiomycetes, basidium, one structure basidium which is carrying sterigmata and which is uh, with basidiospores. Okay, basidiospores which are produced, so that is during sexual reproduction and in this case deuteromycetes, no sexual reproduction is observed. So, sexual reproduction, andre, at the present, gotila. Yavaga adrabagge hechina mahiti birth de, andre, discovery aada hage, they are shifted to other group. So, that is deuteromycetes or imperfect fungi, basidiomycetes club fungi because it is producing club shaped structure. Basidium, which is carrying basidiospore, and ascomycetes were also known as sac fungi, where they are producing sac like structure where uh, spores are placed. Okay, so example for that rhizopus, mucor, albugo, maybe knowing about albugo, albugo, candida. So then regarding ascomycetes, yeast, unicellular fungi. Is aspergillus penicillin. These are all not uh, uni, uh, unicellular. These are multicellular. Idumatra. Yeast matra unicellular. So aspergillus penicillium, which is producing penicillin. So neurospora. So all these are comes under ascomycetes. And here agaricus, naikode, mushroom. So polypoxenia, ustilago. So all these comes under. Uh, basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes these are so coleotrichum which is uh, producing adekeli koleroga varatella the coleotrichum species so trichoderma you may be knowing trichoderma polysporum nk usaitu gotilla alva so like that so that is uh, regarding different classes different groups under kingdom mycota so 
that is uh, kingdom mycota next kingdom plantae under kingdom plantae so they are all <coughs> multicellular eukaryotic plant like organisms they are kept under they are classified into algae and then other groups like bryophyte pteridophytes gymnosperm angiosperm so under algae they are grouped into two major group three major group based on their pigment so if they have phycoerythrin then it is red algae if they have green colored chlorophyll a and b then it is green algae and brown algae they are having phycoxanthin so based on that they are classified so these are some examples okay chlorella so which is rich in scp single cell protein a chlorella so that is green algae unicellular green algae okay next regarding bryophyta so this is bryophyta bryophyta these are the primitive plants so ee compound wall mele chana san sanna gidagalu irtavalla so that is bryophytes so these are small sized organisms plants and they are with the root like stem like structure they are not true so such organisms they are grouped into three categories one is liverwort where the plant body which is thallus like or it is a uh, lobe like dichotomously branch or lobe like structure and anthocyrotopsida where there are horn like structure hornworts and bryopsida that is mosses so these are the three major classes of uh, bryophytes and one major character of this these are major stage is gametophytic so dominant stage in the life history they are gametophytes okay so gametophytes which are producing these are the major dominant stage and gametophytes are producing gametes and after their fusion and even for the sexual reproduction they need water hence they are also said to be amphibians of plant kingdom so uh, male gamete will reach the egg cell after fertilization the zygote which is formed zygote develops sporophyte and that sporophyte is dependent on gametophyte okay sporophyte is not independent it is dependent on gametophyte so that is in case of bryophyte next group pteridophyta and in this pteridophyta were see plant body you can notice leaf like structure so all these these are one one leaf one leaf means it is a, which is with highly branch and that is said to be frond you may be observed young leaves are with the succinate vernation hege karlagirutade so succinate vernation spring like it is what spring like so that is uh, regarding the uh, pteridophyta then these are first or terrestrial uh, terrestrial plants which are with vascular structures vascular structure that is xylem and phloem so both xylem and phloem are present so these are tracheophytes tracheophytes they are tracheophytes and these tracheophytes they are with the vascular uh, tissue both xylem and uh, phloem are present in this and in case of previous one bryophytes they do not have conducting tissue okay but in this conducting tissues are there so plants are comparatively big and these are normally you know teres teres salaginella uh, these are salaginella and then this is silotum highly branched one and then this is the equisitum or stale 
horse tail and even this is uh, regarding uh, teres so that is comes under tero silopsida lycopsida spinopsida teropsida like that also they are named so that is class so in the division anta kottidare hage silophyta lycophyta antide illandre class anta silopsida silopsida Lycopsida, then uh, Spinopsida, then this Tirop. So, like that, they are classified. These are the four classes under uh, Pteridophytes. So, there are, so are also no, ferns, Jerry Gida, the Sagaritare. So, you know, you know, so that plant that comes under this uh, pteridophytes and here also that is sporophytes are dominant. Okay, all these leaves are said to be sporophylls. Behind the leaf there will be actually so this is the leaf and where Along the ventral side, it is with cluster of sporangium. So, that is sporophyll. So, spore bearing leaves or that is said to be sporophylls. Okay. Sporophylls are found. So, that is sporophyte is sporophyte is uh, dominant in this and after the spores are produced and there also they may produce similar Spores may be, all the spores may be of same type, so homosporous or two different types of spore that is heterosporous. So, homosporous and heterosporous. So, heterosporous that is salvinia, so that is uh, heterosporous, salaginella and uh, for homosporous lycopodium and others. So, two types based on the type of uh, spores which they produce, they are classified. And so, this uh, pteridophyte, okay, spores on germination, they will produce uh, protonema. Highly branched structure which will be produced and which is also, so this protonema that will uh, develop into that will produce, uh, that, that, that means if it is uh, made into pieces that will, uh, or through fragmentation it is going to develop into new plant. So like that, the uh, germination will occur. Okay, so, not this one. Here, the spore on germination, they will produce uh, a heart shaped structure, prothallus, and this prothallus which is with the archegonium and antheridia. Okay, antheridia which is producing male gamete and archegonium which is carrying egg cell. After fusion of that zygote which is uh, produced, zygote develops into protonema and then that is uh, uh, through fragmentation also that will uh, uh, produce large number of individual. So, next... Uh, group and a kingdom plant a gymnosperm and these gymnosperms are known as naked seeded plants since they are seed so this is a seed and it is not enveloped by any fruit wall so usually this is fruit or pericar this is absent in case of gymnosperm. So, because of the lack of this, it is said to be naked seeded plants. And then the dominant uh, state that is sporophytes. So, sporophyte which is deployed to n. Then these organisms, that is, they are uh, with huge or thick trunk and they normally 
they are with the conducting tissue xylem and phloem xylem consists of tracheids so tracheids are prominent here and then sieve cells instead of sieve tube sieve cells are uh, are found sieve cells are, uh, are present in gymnosperm and sieve tubes are absent in phloem and xylem consists of tracheids so that is the difference between gymnosperm and angiosperm and one more regarding reproduction the endosperm which is formed that is haploid before fertilization endosperm is formed before fertilization so it is haploid but in angiosperm it is triploid endosperm is triploid so that is the one more difference so gymnosperms are grouped into two group that is class cycadopsida coniferopsida netopsida so cycadopsida which includes cycas conifers like pinus cedrus and then netopsida which includes netum so these uh, angiosperms kingdom plantae that is divided into two major group the one which is not having any seeds and the other group is said to be which is with the seeds so under uh, no seeds that is said to be cryptogams and these cryptogams one is algae another one is that is mosses liverwort bryophytes next group that is pteridophytes which is spore bearing so these are thalloid body volvox this is a volvox chlamydomona um, euglena then regarding bryophyte salazinella marchensia mosses those comes under bryophyta pteridophytes that is ferns ferns and then uh, equisetum hostel and next group that is pelorogams these are producing seeds okay under that it is divided into two major group one is with the flower another one is without flower those without flower that is consists of gymnosperm gymnosperms and with the flower that is angiosperms okay angiosperm so under gymnosperms normally they are with needle like leaves and even pinus and then in case of netum gingo there will be fan shaped leaves it this is gingo so wide leaves are there and in case of these there will be thick cuticle presence of thick cuticle and also sunken stomata there are all some of the um, xerophytic adaptation exhibited by gymnosperm then regarding angiosperm angiosperms they are all are producing flower as i said the fruits or the seeds are enveloped by fruit and then they are with conducting tissue xylem vessels and also in addition it is also consists of xylem tracheids and phloem which is with companion cell and sieve tube element so these angiosperms are uh, are divided into two major group based on the number of cotyledon that is uh dicotyledone and monocotyledone okay so next that is regarding kingdom animalia kingdom animalia where kingdom animalia is divided into two major group one is unicellular uh, uh, organism that was kept under kingdom protista as protozoa primitive animals and all other multicellular animals are kept under uh, this kingdom animalia so they are grouped into different category different phylum based on different criteria one is cellular organization based on that it is said to be kingdom porifera pore bearing animals so here the organism which is with the uh, so here there are large number of pores in the body wall body wall consists of two layer of cells and then there will be central cavity that is said to be spongo seal okay spongo seal and water enters into the body through this dermal ostia then water 
enters the spongiosil, then it will go out through oscula. So that is in case of porifera, where there is outer layer of pinacoderm and inner layer of coenoderm. So coenocytes are there. So they are forming a continuous water current inside the spongiosil. The water moves out through this osculum. Next phylum that is uh, all other organisms are exhibiting tissue level of organization. Tissue level of organization under that one more criteria that is radial symmetrical or bilaterally symmetrical. Radially symmetrical animals there it is phylum coelenterata and phylum thinophora. Phylum coelenterata which is consists of three classes one is Hydrozoa, Hydrozoa, Anthozoa, and Cyphozoa. Cyphozoa. So, Hydrozoa, where it is hydra like. So, hydra like in appearance. So, a large number of tentacles will be surrounding mouth. And here there are two layer of body wall. So diploblastic animals with radial symmetry and that is said to be coelenterata and the central cavity is coelenteron. So coelenteron or gastrovascular cavity. So that is uh, in case of coelenterate. And regarding thinophora, here these are uh, and in this case there are nematoses. The tentacles and uh, outer layer that is consists of nematocyst, nematocysts are there, but in case of uh, tenophore, nematocysts are absent. So both are with the uh, radial symmetry, diploblastic, uh, sorry, diploblastic animals with the radial symmetry, radial symmetry and tenophores are exclusively marine and here there is freshwater cylindrate which is known as hydra. Hydra is freshwater and all other members are uh, marine. So in case of tenophora, they are also consists of comb plates. So these are commonly referred as comb jellies or sea walnut and they are with locomotory structure that is comb plate. Next, another criteria to classify animals, so that is bilateral symmetry. So based on the bilateral symmetry, all other animals are grouped. So one is without coelom. So coelom means it is a cavity found between body wall body wall and digestive system or elementary canal. So this is the cavity. So this cavity has to be lined by mesodermal cell. Okay. So the cavity has to be lined by mesodermal cell. Then it is said to be true coelom. So this coelom, if it is present, they are said to be coelomates. If it is absent, then a coelomate. And if it is it is present but it is not lined by mesoderm, then it is said to be pseudocelomates. So, A coelomates that is flat worms, flat helminthes or flat worms are kept under this. So, body is dorsoventrally flattened here and regarding ascalminthes, they are with the false coelom or body cavity is present but it is not lined by uh, mesodermal cell. Then another one is true coelomates where they have true coelom and under that so this ascalminthes that is round worm example and other uh, phylum under coelomates that is annelida, arthropoda, mollusca, echinodermata, her hemichordata and chordata. So, Annelida, Arthropoda and Mollusca, all the three, they are exhibiting bilateral symmetry. And in case of Echinodermate, their adults are radially symmetrical and the larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. So, there is star. 
okay and then hemichordata which is sharing some of the chordate feature and last one is chordata so chordata which are with the notochord okay notochord either present in the embryonic stage or it may be present in the throughout the life only in some like uh, uh, cephalochordates where notochord is found in the body so uh, like ampiox ampioxis in all other cases that will be replaced by other structure so in case of annelida example earthworm leech etc and uh, in case of arthropoda large number of organisms are there and this arthropoda one of the class that is insecta mollusca normally they are with the hard shell and the body is enveloped by mantle a membranous structure mantle and that mantle secretes shell so few exceptions are there they are there will not be any shell so may all are with the shell and few are without shell okay next another one is that is echinodermata and this particular kingdom they are exclusively marine so you won't find any member in fresh water so exclusively marine species that is echinodermata they are exhibiting radial symmetry adults are with radial symmetry but the larvae which is with uh, bi uh, bilateral symmetry then hemichordata that is example balanoglossus and balanoglossus which is worm like that is normally referred as tongue worm so they are burrowing with the burrowing animals uh, their chordate features are present a little in the embryonic stage then chordata where they have notochord then they are with nerve cord dorsal hollow tubular nerve cord is present and even it is also with the pharyngeal gill slits gills are present in the pharynx region and then they are carrying post anal tail tail is present which is next to the anus so all these characters are uh, features of that chordata so next we'll pass on to the questionnaire binomial nomenclature was given by option a linnaeus b hugo de vries c john ray d axley okay the first uh, answer for this first question that will be linnaeus hugo de vries he proposed mutation theory mutation theory was proposed by hugo de vries john ray introduced the term species in classification the last taxa that a species that was introduced by john ray and huxley julian huxley he proposed neo taxonomy neo taxonomy was proposed by j huxley julian huxley so correct option that is carolus linnaeus the defining characteristic of living beings is they reproduce they can digest their food they respond to external stimuli they regenerate so the property of regeneration is uh, seen in some of the organism and it is not common then they reproduce all living organism will reproduce so that they that is uh, perpetuality of the species to produce young one 
so either asexually or sexually they will uh, produce egg ones offspring and digestion in order to grow they need food food either in the if it is in the uh, they have digestive system their digestion will take place and then they will get the food so here this respond to external stimuli because uh, you may be knowing about that earth sorry millipede millipede if you touch that immediately it will form or it will curl or it will become chuckling so this uh, property or even mimosa pudica nachike mullina gida that will droop its leaves or if you do some activity or even the your friend if he or she pinches immediately you will retract or you will show some movements and that is response to external stimuli that is the correct option of a living organism energy flow and energy transformation in a living system follow normally for example a grassland food chain so grass is eaten by uh, insect grasshopper grasshoppers okay that will be catched by frog frog is eaten by snake then peacock right so this is the simplest food chain grassland food chain so here the energy will transfer from grass to grasshopper insect then to frog then to snake then to peacock while transferring energy only little there is a 10% law and only 10% of the energy which is stored in the previous so that is transferred to the next level left out energy is released as heat loss or entropy okay so here it is energy only 10% is transferred from grass to the grasshopper grasshopper to frog frog to snake then to peacock so the law of thermodynamics is operating in living system okay so law of thermodynamics and this law of limiting factor that is if one of the or if the process if a process say photosynthesis that is controlled by many factor the pace of the smallest factor will decide the rate of reaction so that is said to be law of limiting factor that is blackman's limiting factor so that is a, a another aspect so here law of thermodynamics that is the correct option next is regarding system of classification already we have discussed so there are three type of system of classification one is artificial another one is natural another one is phylogenetic so artificial system which is making use of one or uh, two observable character say nature of the organism type of the flower like that few uh, so unrelated organisms are kept together in that particular uh, system natural system of classification where many observable characters are considered and also anatomy and other features are also considered in the natural system in case of phylogenetic system in addition to those they are also considering evolutionary relationship evolutionary relationship of the organism evolutionary relation between the organism is considered so uh, most advanced that is this system but for this question it is artificial system linnaeus system of classification that is said to be artificial system of classification smallest taxa of classification or living component of the classificatory system that is the species okay so species it is the smallest taxon 
highest taxon that is kingdom and family will come in between because it is with the species genus family order then class uh, phylum kingdom so like that so smallest and uh, taxa or category of classification that is species in which of the following kingdom are archaea and nitrogen fixing organism are classified so kingdom animalia includes animals plantae includes plantae plants fungi that is uh, heterotrophic uh, eukaryotic saprophytic organisms that is fungi so kingdom monera which includes bacteria Uh, cyanobacteria or blue green algae and then one more that is archaea okay archaea these are found in the extreme environment and nitrogen fixing organism that is blue green algae they are with the heterocyst so that is kingdom monera tobacco mosaic virus tobacco mosaic virus is what type of virus it is whether it is having the double stranded rna or single stranded rna or double stranded rna now it should be dna okay double stranded dna or protein so here tmv tmv it is like this it look like a cracker so here there is so this is a ss rna single stranded rna that is component genetic material of this tmi tobacco mosaic virus is a single stranded uh, rna so viruses are classified into two category that is based on the presence of either dna or rna so dna viruses and rna viruses based on their genetic material under rna viruses it will be common cold sars severe acute respiratory syndrome then influenza dengue covid 19 hepatitis hepatitis c polio mumps and aids so all these are uh, rna viruses rna viruses which is uh, infections which are caused by rna so they are commonly referred as rna viruses and uh, dna viruses that is uh, dna viruses virus which cause uh, infection which are with the dna herpes then papilloma virus fox virus so dna viruses that is herpes papilloma virus normally it is causing uh, uterine cancer uh, cervi cervical cancer such that is by papilloma virus and fox virus which is causing fox so these are dna viruses rna viruses that is aids common cold influenza sars covid dengue etc and uh, example for double stranded rna that is uh, rota virus rota virus which is with double stranded rna aids virus or the hiv which is carrying two ss rna okay so answer for this question it is tobacco uh, single stranded rna that is the genetic material of uh, tmi then 
proteinaceous substance if you consider that is normally considered as prion which are causing cjd mad cow disease or bone bovin spongiform encephalopathy etc blue green algae belong to which group already discussed so that is prokaryotes where it is monera okay kingdom monera which is carrying all prokaryotes so blue green algae is a prokaryote so it is under uh, kingdom monera protista unicellular eukaryotic organism fungi multicellular heterotrophic mode of uh, organism with the cell wall bryophytes it is part of the plantae who note the book genera plantarum genera plantarum was uh, wrote written by linnaeus other books written by linnaeus that is species plantarum species plantarum systema naturae then philosophica फिलोसॉफिका बोटैनिका सो इन सिस्टम ऑफ नेचुरे ही एक्सप्लेन अबाउट एनिमल्स ऑल अदर बुक्स कनेक्टेड विद द प्लांट स्पेसिमें एंड देन इवन हियर बेंथम एंड हूक he published genera plantarum between 1862 to 1883 and then linnaeus wrote this book in that is genera plantarum in 1753 1753 so next question that is tiodiner so Diner discovered viroid. Viroid. Viroids are nothing but free infectious RNA molecules of small or low molecular weight. So that is said to be viroid, and that viroids were discovered by T. O. Diner. And infectious protein, as I said, it is prions. They are causing. this is in case of animals so bovin spongiform encephalopathy cruzefeld jacob disease etc these are the virus which infect bacterial cell bacteriophages uh no such things okay so the correct option uh, viroid or free infectious rna icbn in order to write or give name for all this organisms so first is identification then classification then naming so to give name there is a international code of botanical nomenclature for plants and for animals there will be zoological same thing international code of zoological nomenclature that is iczn which is meant for giving name for animals and for plants it is botanical nomenclature so this is the correct option which of the plant groups needs both land and water to complete their life cycle 
So in case of animals, they, we are calling it as class amphibia where uh, frogs are kept. So in case of plants, it is bryophyta because tracheophyta, higher plants, vascular plants, pteridophyta, they are with the conducting tissue, thallophyta, that is algae and bryophytes. So they are with the small, uh, comparatively very small. Okay, and for the sexual reproduction, they need water. So, sperm has to reach the egg cell. So, for that, they need water. And so, that is said to be bryophyta. So, option D. A plant that has seeds but no flowers and fruits. So, seeds are produced. So, out of this, only one option is a producing seed, that is gymnosperm. So, seed producing plants, gymnosperms and angiosperm. Under that, naked seeds are produced by gymnosperm and uh, true or the with the fruit, seeds with the fruit are produced in gym, angiosperm. So, other three groups, they are not producing any seeds. Most primitive vascular plants. So, vascular elements are uh, found in Organisms of groups like pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperm. So, which is pteridophyte here? So, the pteridophyte that is sperm, and this is the primitive. Next, the cycles that will come under gymnosperms. Okay, next group. And mosses, these are bryophytes. So, they do not have conducting tissues. Kelps, these are algae. So, bigger. Uh, algae, huge algae are considered as kelps and the ferns are comes under pteridophytes and these are the primitive primitive vascular plants. Plants that possess spores and embryo but lack vascular tissue and seeds. Okay, they are producing spores and embryo is also produced, they do not have vascular tissue, lack vascular tissue. So, that is uh, once again bryophyta. Okay, spores are produced here and they are producing embryo because embryo that is zygote develops into zygote develops into sporophyte. So, bryophyta then. that possess spore and embryo but lack vascular tissue. So, these do not have vascular tissue so that it is bryophyta. Which is not an exception in angiosperm because one of the criteria where all angiosperms are exhibiting this. So, that is double fertilization. Okay, one of the male gamete fuses with the egg cell to produce a diploid zygote. Another male gamete fuses with the secondary nucleus to form a triploid primary endosperm nucleus. So, double fertilization and triple fusion that is a characteristic feature of angiosperm. So, it is this. Pick the mismatched pair. So, cycus is dioecious. Dioecious means where male and female plants are different. Okay, but they are sporophytes and male plant and female plants are different here. So, dioecious. Equisitum which is producing only one type of spore. All the spores are similar. So, homosporous. Salvinia is example for heterosporous. Uh, that means it is producing two types of spore. One is microspore. Another one is macro or megaspore. So, 
two types of spores are produced here. So that is heterosporous and pinus which is dioecious. Pinus actually male and female cones are different but it is found in the same plant. So this is monoecious. Monoecious plant. So, so this is wrong. So correct option is mismatch repair so that is uh, D. A colonial algae. Colonial algae, algae which consists of large number of small small cells so that is said to be volvox. Chlorella is unicellular, unicellular algae and which is source of SCP single cell protein and Eulothrix and Spirogyra, these are filamentous algae. So, Spirogyra consists of spiral shaped uh, uh, chloroplast. So, these two are filamentous algae and this is unicellular and this is colonial form. First plants to inhabit the land that is, so we have studied secondary uh, succession. So, that primary succession, secondary succession, questions are bandit the exam ge, adra prakara, so that is bryophytes. So, first plants to inhabit the land, yelli, near ide, atwa land ide, alli, first organism to inhabit, that is bryophyta, in case of plants, that is a hydric condition, it is algae. Agar is commercially obtained from, agar, which is obtained from gelidium and gracilaria. So these are red algae and even carrageen which is obtained from carrageen which is obtained from red algae, okay. So, both agar, agar which is used for microbial pre, uh, culture medium preparation, so and even it is used in ice cream and all, so that uh, uh, agar which is obtained from red algae that is like gelidium and gracilaria and even carrageen which is obtained from red algae. So, from brown algae that is uh, Algin. Algin is obtained and that is from sargassum. Algae named as sargassum which is involved in the production of algin. So hydrocolloidal substance algin is obtained. The cell wall of spirogyra contains spirogyra is algae and it is consists of primary cell wall and that primary cell wall is made up of by cellulose. Chitin, it is substance, cell wall material of fungi. Fungi, fungal cell wall, that is chitin. Lignin and uh, suberin, they are the components of secondary wall layer. Okay, secondary wall layers are with the deposition of lignin, suberin, etc. So, here it is cellulose. Which of the following components? completely lacks a cell wall. So, all other group that is, that means Monera, then um, Protista, Mycota, Plantae. All the organism under this group are with the cell wall. In case of Kingdom Animalia and even Protozoa, they do not have cell wall and so out of these four options, which is animal? So blue-green algae, that is a cyanobacteria, saccharomyces, it is fungi, so this is fungi or that is yeast, yeast, then blue-green algae, they are nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria, then cyanobacteria, so sea fan, sea fan that is or gorgonia, it is animal, okay, animal, so this is not having cell wall. So, this one. 
Prothallus gives rise to sporophyte without fertilization. This is known as prothallus, which is uh, developing into a sporophyte without fertilization. It is said to be apogamic. And if the sporophyte diploid cell, if it develops into a sporophyte without fertilization, it is said to be apospory. Parthenocarpy production of seedless fruits. Okay, without fertilization, if the uh, ovary develops into fruit, so that is parthenocarpy, then parthenogenesis, where female gamete without fertilization develops into new individual. So, option epogam A. Which class has the largest number of animal? The example question bandito. Which group of vertebrate and titu? Aganima answer fish agitu, but till the largest number of animal that is kingdom arthropoda under that class insecta. Okay, if it is regarding chordate, then it is fishes, otherwise it is insect. Identify the characteristic of a coelomate. A coelomates means they do not have coelom. So, It is solid body without a cavity surrounding internal organ. So between the body wall and the elementary canal, there is no cavity at all. It is lined, it is filled with tissue. So it is option D. Salamander belongs to the class. Salamander which comes under class amphibia. Okay, the larva which is produced by this salamander, it is exolotal larva and which is exhibiting neoteny or pedogenesis. It is larva metamorphosis to become, oh, sorry, larval reproduction. So, larva is capable to reproduce. So, that is said to be uh, neoteny or pedogenesis and that is salamander which is an amphibia. Pisces uh, includes uh, fishes, true fishes, aves uh, that is birds, reptiles, uh, snake, lizard, uh, crocodile, etc. Select the correct pair. So to the phylum arthropoda, Silver fish, that is a small organism which is present in books which are not used, unused for several uh, period or several days. So, such books are with small grayish color organism which runs, so that is actually silver fish. So, jellyfish is an excellent rate, okay, this jellyfish is silent rate. Then cuttlefish is a molluscan member and starfish is echinoda. So correct option, it is option A. Which group does not contain polyp? So here in case of a cylindrate, they are with two body form, one is polyp Another one is medusa. Polyp means asexually reproducing structure and medusa is sexually reproducing structure. So these two are alternating, so that is said to be metagenesis. Okay, to complete their life cycle, these two stages are needed. So asexually reproducing polyp is uh, alternating with the sexually reproducing structure, medusa. So in case of uh, Cylentrata, phylum cylentrata, that is divided into three classes. One is anthozoa, hydra like body. Sorry, no, this is a hydra like body, anthozoa, sorry, hydrozoa. Then uh, medusoid form is dominant, that is in cyphozoa, and coral like appearance, that is anthozoa. Okay, so. This calcarea is one of the member group under phylum Porifera. So, this is correct option. It is belonging to Porifera. 
which among the following is incorrect about transport canal system? So, transport canal system, canal system is found in Porifera, which is incorrect. incorrect. So, water enters the cavity through minute pores called as ostea. Already I have said there are large number of pores in their body wall. So, these pores are nothing but ostea. Then the flagellated cells here, inner line of cells which are with the uh, flagellated cells or coinocytes, they are forming the uh, water current and then collar cells help in distribution and filtering the food material. Water leaves the spongocele through osculum. So, neeru horagai hogulike ijari. So, this is wrong. Collar cells help in distribution. No, it is not filtering. So, it will form one water current. Collar cells that is this type of cells. So, in that continuous beating of beating action of the flagella that is uh, um, that makes the water current inside so that the cells uh, come in contact food material if it is uh, there that will be taken up and so the wrong statement which among the following is incorrect that is C. Coinocytes are also called as already I have mentioned so that is collar cells. Okay, collar bearing cells that is coinocyte, which are the specialized the cell in case of phylum porifera. Agnatha. So, phylum chordata is divided into class vertebrata, division vertebrata, and that or okay, division vertebrata, and then under that. It is divided into two major groups. One is gnathostoma. Gnathostoma. Another one is agnatha. Agnatha means, gnatha means jaw. So, without jaw. So, and another one is with jaw. Gnathostoma. So, mouth is guarded by or uh, guarded by jaw and here jaw is absent. So, the mouth is a torial, circular mouth here and here it is with the supported by the bone or jaw bone, so gnathostoma. So, that is subphylum. Okay, subphylum agnatha. The molluscan without a shell. So, here there is a mistake, it should be SE. Sepia, octopus, Loligo nautilus. So, here there is big shell here in this. Loligo, it is a internal shell, it is having sepia cuttlefish, which is also with the internal shell. And here, octopus is without any shell. Octopus or devil fish, it is not having shell. Which one is an example of living fossil? Living fossil means those organisms which are not showing any changes from several generations. So, such organisms are said to be living fossil and here it is king crab. King crab that is a living fossil. Two feet. Two feet are the locomotory organs of in case of echinoderms, they are with the special type of structure that is two feet and it is uh, uh, meant for locomotion, it is also meant for osmoregulation. Uh, so, that is uh, they are with the water vascular system. So, water vascular system which is with ring canal, then radial canal. So, these radial canals are with the tubule. Uh, two feet. So, these two feet are meant for um, osmoregulation, uh, then for uh, even acting as uh, locomotory structure. Water vascular system are found, that is uh, 
already have mentioned it is echinodermate feature. So, which is echinodermate here? All are with the prefix C. Okay, sea horse is a true fish. It's a true fish. Then, sea pen is, sea anemone is a cylindrata. Sea pen is also cylindrata. Member of cylindrata. Sea cucumber or holothurians. So, sea cucumber that is a echinoder. Okay, this member of echinodermata. So, members of echinodermates they are with the water vascular system. Which of the following is not a true fish? So, here it is a prefix fish. So, sawfish, it is cartilaginous fish. Catfish, bony fish, dog fish that is coleodon, shark, coleodon or shark. So, devil fish is octopus. Octopus is a mollusk without shell. Okay, octopus that is, so this is the option. Which of the following animal has enucleated erythrocyte? RBC is nucleated in case of other organism and in case of mammal except camel, they are with e mature RBC is without nucleus. So, which is mammal here? That is rat is mammal. So, mammalian RBC is unucleated. Okay, mammalian RBC is unucleated. So, that is rat. Post anal tail, as I said earlier, the post anal tail is one of the characteristics of chordate. So, here also you have to find which is chordate. So, other three groups, these earthworm annelida, phylum annelida, scorpion comes under phylum arthropoda, in general, so cobra which comes under Class Reptilia, so this is the option. Bioluminescence is well marked. So, bioluminescence is the property of emitting light, okay, by the living organism. So, that is in case of phenophores. So, example for this, comb jellies. So, these are deep sea organism. They are also said to be C walnuts. Okay, they are with comb plates and these stenophores are exhibiting bioluminescence. These organisms are fungus like in one phase of their life cycle and amoeba like in another phase of their life cycle. That is slime mold. Okay, so they are also producing plasmodium or Actually, on decaying branch, they will grow and they will move. So, they will divide. So, that is said to be plasmodium and that is by slime mold. Thank you for watching this video and then you learn well. So, Chanagori, exam ali, Chanag Madi, Kelavadakke answer options ala, Hatratra idate, Salpa, Concentrate Madi Nodi De Anda Jakta De Adas to Sariyagi Answer Madi Old Rankana Padiri All the best students So thank you